Dylan March, Director of Content for Sulky of America. And this is Dylan. Hi. Dylan is eight years old, and we are super excited to be doing the So So English So Along with you today. I'm going to go over on day one some of the materials that we're going to be using for uh, these pajama pants. And first off, the pattern that we're using has a couple of different options as far as style goes, right? Yeah. So there's a straight leg pant version, there's a jogger version, and you can also make shorts. But we're going to go with the straight leg version, right Dylan? And we did make a couple of modifications to the pattern just to make it super simple, something that an eight-year-old can help you tackle. Um, I also have twins that are five, and they also want to make pants, but in the interest of kind of making this tutorial a little bit easier in my confined space, Dylan's going to help me out, and I'll post pictures of my daughters making their pants as the sew along goes along. So... Dylan and I, again, decided on the straight leg pant, and to modify it, we are not gonna do the drawstring, we're just gonna do a traditional elastic waistband. And instead of doing the faux fly front, we're just gonna do a straight front on the pant, but Dylan wanted the, the pockets, right, Dylan? So we are gonna leave the pockets in. To start off, the So So English fabric that we're using is a double brushed poly. This is the fabric that Dylan picked out for his pants. So they're very, very soft and uh, So So English has some great kid-friendly prints. <laughs> Dylan really likes this one. Another suitable fabric, my Riley picked out this fabric. And this is a French terry fabric. It's just as soft as a traditional kind of lightweight knit would be, except it's got some little kind of almost sweater knit properties on the uh, wrong side of the fabric. So those are two great types of fabric for this particular pattern. We also have some ribbing, and this is what we're gonna use for the waistband. You can see it's super stretchy, right? It's gonna stretch right along with our elastic. <laughs> okay, so something that you are definitely going to need is a jersey or a ballpoint needle. Now, a ballpoint needle is kind of rounded at the tip instead of being super sharp. So Dylan, you know how a ballpoint pen is kind of rounded? Yeah, and that one is round and it makes, and it stretches it and then it puts the pin through. Right, so instead of piercing the fabric like a traditional universal needle might, it's actually going to push the fibers aside to create the stitch. So you won't have snags or holes in your more delicate knit fabric. So Jersey needle, you're gonna need that. And then Dylan is going to be at a traditional sewing machine, this brother machine, and he is going to use sulky 50 weight cotton and steel thread for the top stitching of the pants. And I'm gonna be working on a serger and I am going to use some sulky poly deco thread. Now poly deco is a 40 weight thread comes in a lot of different nice shiny colors and Dylan actually picked four colors to use in the serger. Now that kind of serves two purposes. One, Dylan got to pick out all of the great thread colors, right Dylan? <laughs> he loves that. Two, he gets to see what color um, thread is used for what part of the stitch. Now I'm gonna set my serger for a four thread overlock stitch, and he will be able to see which color of thread uh, creates which part of that stitch. So it's just another learning opportunity when you're sewing with your kids. Now, if you don't have a serger, you can definitely just use a regular sewing machine and you will set it for a stretch stitch. It's a little bit of a sideways or up and down type of zigzag stitch and all of those suggested stitches are in the pattern itself. All right, another great product that I'm gonna introduce into this is 
Sulky Sticky Fabrisolvi. <laughs> sticky Fabrisolvi is a water soluble stabilizer and it's going to help when we hem the pants. And we'll get to that a little bit more tomorrow when we're doing the bulk of our sewing. So today we are going to lay out the pattern. Well, first we're gonna to tape together the pattern. Yeah. We're going to then cut it out. Of course. Then we're going to lay it onto our fabric and cut out our fabric pieces so that oh. we're ready to sew tomorrow. Yeah. You wanna make sure that your fabric has enough stretch as indicated by the pattern. Take a four inch strip of the fabric so that the greatest amount of stretch runs along the length. Stretch it along the graphic on the pattern to see if it has enough stretch. It needs to have at least 25% stretch for this pattern. To decipher which size pattern to make, take a few simple measurements. Write down the waist, hip, and pant length measurement. Then it's time to prepare the pattern. Consult the pattern instructions to learn how to tape together the pattern pieces. Then cut out each piece according to the size that best matches your measurements. PJs have a forgiving fit, so you can go off of the finished hip measurement to decipher the size that's right for you. Make sure to wash and dry your fabric before cutting out the pattern pieces. Fold the fabric with right sides together so that you can cut mirror images of each piece, which will create a right and a left leg, and do the same thing for the pocket pieces. Place the pattern pieces along the grain line or length of the fabric so the greatest amount of stretch is along the width. Pin or use fabric weights to secure the pattern pieces to the fabric. Pattern weights won't mar the stretch fabric. I like to use a rotary cutter to cut out knit fabrics. It's just much easier and more accurate than the scissors. When you're dealing with stretch fabrics, they like to kind of stretch out of shape when you're using scissors. Um, and so rotary cutters are just a little bit easier to manage. I don't let my children use a rotary cutter yet. For eight years old and under, I'd recommend either having them put their hands on top of yours while you're cutting so that their fingers stay way away from that rotary blade, or they can just watch this step. There are also special gloves that you can buy for adults or children that will protect your hands from cuts if you wanna go that route. Now that we've got our front pants cut, our back pants cut, and both of our pocket pieces, we also have our waistband cut, it is time to move on to the sewing. <laughs> 